So now we are going to start off with our project as we have our basic understanding of request and beautiful soup and how to scrape the data from any website, right? So first of all, go to your browser and just write makan.com. So it will take you to this page. So here we have makan.com, right? So here we are going to look for the apartment in our cities. Let's say here, I'm looking for the apartment in Hyderabad. So here I will write Hyderabad, right? So I will write Hyderabad. Then there are around 59,569 properties. So I will click on view here. So here if you see, we get all this listing. So here we have the seller information. What are the number of BHK? Which locality? So it is Patti Hyderabad. What is the price? What is the price per square feet over here? What is the area of that apartment? What are the construction status? Is it for resale, right? Also, you'll get the information like number of bathrooms, how many years old and all that, okay? So now, let's say we want to analyze all this data so that we can find the best apartment for ourselves in our given project, right? In the best locality. So in that case, you require all these 59 thousand listing right now if you do that by manually copy and pasting you can think of the time it is going to take for you to manually copy and paste each and everything from this website so here we'll use our knowledge of web scraping and we will automate this task so that with certain modification in our script again we will be able to just run our script and download all this listing all this information that we're looking for one by one. So here we'll try to scrap this information about all this listing that are there. So on one page, this is page one. On one page, we have around 20 listing. Okay. So on one page, we have around 20 listing. But first of all, you should be able to scrap the data from the very first listing. So here, this is our first listing. We'll try to scrap the data about seller from this particular listing, then this two BHK apartment, then the locality, then the price, area, and construction status. And you will also have some assignment if you want to perform. You can go out and try out to scrape the data for this resale, this number of bathrooms, number of BHKs, and all that. Okay. So you can try out with this web, website. But here we will try to scrape the seller information, number of BHK, your locality, and your price, and your price per square foot, and the area in square foot, and the construction status. So this is our goal. We want to scrape this information. Okay. So here, to first of all, we have to locate the tags in which tag these all information is present. So they will be present in multiple tags, right? So here, if I go to seller, here we want the seller information. So whether he is owner or some other guy, some builder who is selling this property. So here I go to owner, do a right click and inspect. And it will take me to this tag where this information is present. So here again, if you see it, we have been taken to this span tag, right? We have been taken to this span tag where this owner information is present. So we have span tag and this is the attribute class equals to seller type, right? So we'll try to make a request to this website. Then we'll use beautiful soup and then we will try to scrape this information. So let's do that. Let's go back to our script here and here, First of all, you need to import the packages, import the packages. So here we will import request, import request, and also we will import from BH4, from BH4 import beautiful soup. That's it. So we will be using this two packages for now. Let's run it, shift and enter. And here we have this URL, right? To make a request, we need the URL. 
So URL equals to let's go back here and I will copy this URL from here. So let's just copy it, go back to our script and paste it in this codes over here. Now let's make a request and store that into our response variable. So response equals to request dot get and here we pass this URL. Okay, so it will give us the response. So let's see the response code here. So if I run it, let's see. So we are getting this response 200. That means we have made a successful request. Now here I will create a soup object. So soup equals to beautiful soup, right? And here we will pass response, response dot I can write text or even I can write content. So here I will write text, comma, here the parser. So here we will give HTML. And let's print it. So here I will just write print soup dot pretty five. Soup dot pretty five. Okay. And let's just run it. Let's run it now. So here we will get the source code of this website. So this is the source code. Now here we have this different H2, H1, UL, LI, A tag and all. Now we can locate, if we are able to locate our tag in which tag our information is present, it becomes very really easy for us to scrap the data, okay? So now what do we want is, we want to scrap this information, which is owner, whether it is owner or it is builder or someone else, right? So how we are going to do that? We have identified the tag by going to this owner, right click and inspect. So we have span class equals to seller type, right? So here we will write, first we will try out with find. So soup dot find. So find will give you the very first occurrence of that tag. So here if I write soup dot find and here if I give span, right? So here if I just run it, I will get the very first span tag. So there might be different span tag in your website. Okay. And here if you use the find, you will get the very first span tag. Here we are getting this data hyphen target. So this is a placeholder by and all that. We don't want that, right? So here we will get the attributes. So comma attrs equals to a dictionary of attributes. So what is the attribute? Class equals to seller type. So let's copy this control C, go back here and here I will write class and the class is our seller type control B. Now let's run it and here we are able to extract this information owner right. So here we know how to just get the owner just by writing dot text and let's run it. Now here we are getting this owner information, correct? So this is how we are going to locate and extract the information. First of all, we will do this for this work, your single listing. Then once we have done it for single listing, it becomes really easy for us to write it for all this listing that is 20 listing that are there on the very first page. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. If you have liked our content, please do hit like button and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more useful content and exciting updates. If you want to learn such practical content at an affordable cost with Microsoft certification and instructor support, please register at academy.codenan.com. You can also download app from Play Store as Codenan. Never hesitate to raise queries in the comment section and please do reply with your suggestions for more practical videos. We'll be happy to come up with it. Thank you.